Hello and welcome to the Mama Cam for December 20th, 2008. I can't believe it's December 20th. This is so crazy. Anyway, you're going to notice that I'm coming to you from a whole other environment. This is my new office. My husband being the cool guy that he is, um, he made me an office. And because you never know when you're going to need an office to maybe work in. I don't know. But, you know, I do enjoy working from a kitchen table, but sometimes, you know, want to work somewhere else. So I have an office. I have a desk. I'm going to give you a tour of my desk. Hold on. Okay, this is going to get ugly. All right. Uh, okay, so here's what's on my desk. I got a Foxy. Picture of my husband coming around here. Oh, we got my Unico. There's Puck. Hello, Puck. How you doing? A little bit of uh, Bath and Body Works, tissues, iPhone. Okay, there you go. All right. That was just pretty ridiculous. Uh, okay, so anyway... As I'm going to continue on, preferably not, you know, break my webcam. Woo. Okay, that's crooked. Uh, yeah, this is good times. Anyway, so I'm in my office, and I just want to talk to you about some fluff things. I, myself, am going to be leaving to go home for the holidays, um, and my webcam is totally jacked. Hold on, time out. This is what happens when, you know, you don't really plan ahead. You only, like, halfway plan ahead, and you've got, like, things going on and all sorts really good times that we're having right here. This is what I like to call good times. Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? Are we good? We're good. So this is where I went wrong. I bought this laptop and I didn't get a webcam put in it because I thought, what the heck am I going to need a webcam for? And now obviously I need one a lot. So somebody needs to buy me a new laptop. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm going to be going home to Pittsburgh here in, in a couple of days, and I just want to talk about some fluff things very quickly. For those of you who have not been, you know, living, you know, out in the open like the rest of us, we have a major event going on right now. We have the stocking, the secret stocking event, which means you get to go to anybody's page that you want and give them any kind of gift that they want or that you want to give them and they can't open it till Christmas Day and if they want to open it Christmas Day they can or they can wait and open it later because people might still give them gifts. I think that this is a brilliant idea and it's not just because I happen to love fluff and you know am heavily involved in the application. I just think it's a brilliant idea all around. So if you have not given gifts to people you need to get on it because it's December 20th already. What are you waiting for? All right moving on to some Ask Mama questions. Okay alrighty then. Lots of stuff going on in Fluff Lives. Uh, I got some, uh, someone says to me, Mama, I, should I, how should I handle dealing with ungrateful relatives over the holidays? Especially those relatives who still haven't figured out how to balance their checkbook and live within their means and expect handouts from everyone, even those of us who just live paycheck to paycheck, like myself and my husband. And those other relatives who think that raising hell and yelling at others in an inefficient way to get money back and not be screwed over. I.e. my dad who thinks I should call him from the post office and demand money back because his package didn't come to him on time. Sincerely, Sparkle Terror. Um, I'm not going to lie. That sounds like a pretty ugly situation that you have going on there. Um, here's what I say. I'm really a big fan of this. I don't I think it's very difficult. But I like to do the whole kill them with kindness thing. I mean, it's really hard for someone to be mean to you when you're being nice to them repeatedly. I mean, they could be mean to you for a little bit, but I mean, what are they going to do when you aren't affected by their meanness? The thing is, you just got to sort of rise above it. Don't let people steal your joy, because people try to steal my joy all the time, and I don't take kindly to joy stealing. So just, you know, try to be happy, and if they annoy you, go in the bathroom, you know, cry, do whatever it is you have to do throw something at a wall. Just, you know, try, try to avoid violence towards other people because then that's when the cops get involved and then you end up on TV and bad boys, what you're going to do. Now, I don't want to hear that. I don't want to hear any of that from anybody in fluff. Not that I don't want celebrities around, but, you know, let's not, let's not just go the uh, illegal route. Okay. Goodness gracious, I have a lot today. Uh, there seems to be a little bit of a dispute over who gets to babysit Puck, and here's the thing. Uh, Puck, I'm not going to lie, he's been very well behaved lately. He sits on my desk like a good little Puck-shaped object with eyes. He has not been causing any trouble. He has not been doing anything particularly horrible. So I really don't think that I need to, like, give him away to, you know, somebody else. But if I do ever need a babysitter for Puck, I'm sure that I have several contenders such as Will and Curtis and Star, who are apparently having a little bit of a brawl, a little bit of a, a, little bit of a fight there in Ask Mama. Uh, hang in there, okay? Can't, can't promise him to anybody. Chances are he'll annoy me sooner or later and I'll be kicking him out the door anyway. 
Okay. Um, okay, so one more question before I'm going to talk about something else. Uh, some very nice, oh, Butternut, love you, Butternut. She says, Dear Mama, what do you wish for fluff-wise for Christmas? Butternut's mom. There's some things that I happen to love in fluff. One thing that I love in fluff is the deer. Rain, cute, deer, cuter. Deer, other than my monkey Crispin, is my favorite fluff of all time ever. I'm old school, you know, I'm an old school mama, you know, so I mean, you couldn't go wrong with the deer, couldn't go wrong with some mini monkeys. I happened to put 150 mini monkeys on my wish list once and I got them all. So let's just leave it to say that I've got a lot of monkeys, but you know what, there's always room in my heart for another Crispin. So monkeys, deer, what else do I like? I like habitats, I think habitats are cool. It doesn't really even have to be a golden habitat, just a habitat of some sort. Maybe a purple dino. I'm not gonna lie. Purple dinos are like for some reason my favorite of the dinos and they don't get a lot of love I don't see a whole lot of people on my list that own purple dinos. I used to I used to have Lucy and then Letty she had Ethel and then Lucy and Ethel did a bunch of crazy stuff and Let's just suffice it to say we both went back to our original fluffs because we couldn't handle the destruction that was going on there Okay Anyway, I uh, can't make this one too long and I'll tell you why my husband decided to take my son to Toys R Us on the Saturday night before Christmas and I'm really not sure what made him think that that was a good idea but apparently he did and they are gone and they've been gone for over an hour and I'm pretty sure that when they walk into this house and say I don't know 5, 10, 20 minutes uh, my, my son is going to be happy and my husband is going to want to kill somebody and I don't particularly want to be the object of murder tonight uh, so I'm going to do something like nice around the house you know something nice so that you know I'm not the one that has to deal with the brunt of the anger from the Toys R Us expedition on a Saturday night before Christmas. I don't know what he was on when he decided hey let's go to Toys R Us. I don't know but you know what I do know is that I've had about an hour and a half of peace and quiet which is a luxury so I'm gonna just go with that be happy with that. So fluffs here's the deal give a whole bunch of gifts for our stocking contest give and give and give and give and wait until the 25th to open your stocking. And if you have, you know, a little bit of willpower, which I'm not big on willpower, but if you have any, keep your stocking closed for a little bit longer. You never know what kind of gift is going to come up in that stocking. And you know what? Everyone's asking me, what's the special gift from Fluff? What is it? What's the special gift? You know what? To be honest with you, I don't know. I don't know because I didn't ask. And you know what? Sometimes I like a surprise because, you know, it's nice to know everything that's going to happen, but it's also like way fun to just not know what's going to happen. So right now I don't know what's going to happen and I'm okay with that. I think I've been talking and rambling very fast and I don't know why. I think I'm afraid of the Toys R Us return from the Toys R Us. It's going to be crazy. Anyway, this is going to be my last Ask Mama before the holiday season is over. So I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, Happy Kwanzaa, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa Hanukkah Christmas, Festivus, any other such celebration that goes on this time of year that I have not mentioned. Happy everything. Happy everything to everybody. This is Mama Cam for December 20th, 2008. I'm Mama and I'm smiling because everyone says you never smile. Well, I'm smiling. See? Eee! Smiling. That's me. Okay. This time I'm really going to go. Bye-bye. <laughs>